we have to stop meeting like this. You have to stop sneaking into my bathroom, hiding in my medicine cabinet, turning on a camera, watching me get ready because I'm done. I'm done. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not gonna, no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna show you my skincare routine. I'm not sharing any information with you. No more skincare videos. Ah, I'm just kidding. You know we're here for a skincare video. And this time, something a little bit different. Every lady liked my video about organizing my makeup collection, so I figured why not share another private shame with you, and that is my skincare cabinet. Insert the clip. So many items, so many products, so many that have gone unused, or many that have gone used once and then realized they were not liked, but for some reason were not decluttered and were not given away to somebody that can use them. So today, we are taking charge. We are taking back the house. <laughs> Today we're gonna declutter and organize my medicine cabinet and get rid of some skincare, give some skincare away, talk about why I'm getting rid of stuff and talking about the stuff that's sticking around. So if you like skincare and if you like organization and if you like hanging out in my bathroom, keep on watching. Ooh, look at this. It's my bathroom from another angle. All right, so I think the best way to go about decluttering the situation. It's gonna be like I did with the makeup and that's gonna be to take everything out and then put it back in when I decide what stuff is being kept and what stuff is being thrown away or given away. So please enjoy the following sped up montage of me removing everything from my medicine cabinet. All right, so for the pleasure of the viewer, I have brought all of my skincare items into the bedroom and I put them all on my bed on this blanket. So now I am going to separate everything into categories and then we will organize it. All right, so this was harder to categorize than I thought because so many things have their own category and there's only a couple things or I have a lot of miscellaneous skincare items. All right, so I, I did my best here and we're gonna, we're gonna go through my piles. All right, so quick and easy pile to get out of the way. I don't know why, I just thought I only have two cleansing products right now. I guess I decluttered my cleansers more recently than I thought, so. The Matcha Hemp Cleanser from Crave and my Garnier Micellar Water are going to stay here. Moving on to my moisturizers. So as you can see, I have a lot more moisturizing items. This one's a tinted moisturizer. That's more of a makeup -y item, but I do like to keep it in the medicine cabinet so I can put it on first thing in the morning. And same with this hydrating primer. I also put this on as my daily primer, so I keep that in here as well, and this is really great. My sunscreen from Crave Beauty, that's sticking around. I love this sunscreen, super comfortable, leaves a nice sheer glow on the skin. And then this from First Aid Beauty is an under eye concealer and also de-puffing situation that my mom gave me and I really, really like this. We'll lay to skin food, keep it everywhere. Sometimes it lands on my makeup desk, sometimes it stays in the skincare cabinet. That can stay. This is a new item I've been testing out from Perlis, Perlis. And it's a moisturizer and sunscreen. So I'm definitely gonna keep that around so I can test it out. This moisturizer from First Aid Beauty, I love this. I use this every day. They're barrier cream, super lightweight, great for summer, and not getting rid of that. I am likely getting rid of both of these. I'll start with this one. This is the Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Rich, Hydra Rich Hydration Cream. I talked about this in one of my skincare favorites and not so favorites video, but I did not like this. This made my skin break out. There's some artificial fragrance in here that my skin does just not agree with. I ended the video by saying I like this for every once in a while, some good after sun care, but like I have other things that work better and I'm really not using it. So I, it's so bulky and heavy. It's really just taking up space in my cabinet right now. I think I'm gonna give this to my mom and see if she likes it, so. 
This I used one time. I should tell you what it is. This is the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Waterful Glow Cream. This has alcohol as an ingredient, not serotil or not not the good like fatty alcohols, like just straight alcohol as an ingredient. And I really didn't even want to put it on my face even once, but I gave it a try on a day where I had nowhere to go and my face burned immediately afterwards. I don't understand why there's alcohol in here. I was very disappointed in this. I don't ever want to see it again burn my skin. I will not give it to anyone because I don't want it to burn their skin. This is leaving. So going on to my miscellaneous category right here, um, I got some face oils in here. One from Face Hero that I really like. This has a bunch of good oils. This was one of my skincare favorites in a recent video, so that's sticking around as is my herbivore CBD oil. This is awesome for getting rid of redness and toning down inflammation. Use this often, used it today. This is my milk hydrating body oil. I put this on my arms after I use my KP scrub from First Aid Beauty. Um, chicken skin, I have it, I have bumpy arms and I put this on it and they seem to go down, so love that. This is my hydrating toner from first aid beauty haven't been using this very long but i do like it same with these glycolic acid pads these facial radiance pads from first aid beauty been loving those this is something on a fab fit fun box that's a really gentle physical exfoliant so i like using this about once a week definitely will keep that around this from first aid beauty their coconut skin smoothie primer I have used this a couple of times. I feel like it makes my skin break out. There's obviously some glitter particles in there that I don't love. I like luminous skin, but I don't like sparkly skin. So I think I'm gonna send this guy pack in here. Same with this from Dr. Brandt, which is like a really nice skincare brand, but it's an eye depuffing gel. I think I'm more in a place where I need eye cream right now than a depuffing gel, because this definitely smells like alcohol and it really astringent feeling and I'm just not sure I need something like this the thing I showed you before the triple eye duty from first aid beauty does the same thing but this one doesn't smell as astringent and it doesn't leave my skin feeling as tingly as the other one so I think I like this one better um <laughs> this is here this is flat iron spray for putting heat on your hair which I don't do anymore so I don't need that and this is an eye cream from Belief that I just got and have only used once, but I like so far, so I'm gonna keep using it. Great. All right, on to my largest category, which is masks. I have a whole bunch of sheet masks here. They're all sticking together because they came in like variety packs. But these ones from St. Eve's, I like a lot. These don't make my skin burn at all, which is a big old plus when it comes to sheet masks, because a lot of them do. So I think I will save these. These I do not like. These are from Tula Skincare. They came in my FabFitFun box. They're a really interesting texture because they're like rubbery. Like you think it's gonna be just like a paper sheet mask, but it's actually very rubbery looking and it kind of comes out looking like that and it comes in two pieces. Very interesting texture, very weird feeling on the face, but this made my skin feel so dry afterwards, which is very confusing because it was supposed to be major glow. It just left my skin feeling so, so dry afterwards. I feel like I couldn't put enough moisturizer and face oils on to rehydrate it. So I'm just not sure they're for me and I did not see any glow. Get him out of here. This is my boyfriend's sheet mask that I got him for Christmas. He hasn't used yet. So that's staying in the cabinet until he does. This, I forget where I got this. Probably an Ipsy bag. This is an age control. Um, mask. My only fear with this one is, yeah, it has denatured alcohol listed as the fourth ingredient, which means there's a high concentration of that. Denatured alcohol causes things to dry faster, which is why people put them in sheet masks a lot, but I don't put alcohol on my face, so I'm going to have to say goodbye to this guy. And then this one, I believe my mom got me this for Christmas, and I think it's so cute, but I believe it does have alcohol in it, but let me check. Oh, it had dimethicone and fragrance in it. That's why. Dimethicone is something they put in primers a lot to fill in pores, so I'm not sure why it belongs in skincare. Um, and also just anything with added fragrance tends to really irritate my skin, so I'm sorry, Mom. I'm going to have to put this one in my giveaway pile, and I'll give it to someone with not sensitive skin. 
All right, so for my non-sheet masks here, I have this one I just got in an Ipsy bag. I still wanna use hydration cream mask, kinda like a sleep mask situation. I love this one from Generation Clay. This is a brightening clay mask that doesn't dry my face out and doesn't irritate my skin. Has no added fragrance or alcohol in it. I really, really like this one. This is a mask I got my boyfriend that he hasn't used yet, so you know that's sticking around. All right. This one is an aloe mask from Crop. I love this one. This one's like super, super natural. It makes my skin feel so hydrated and so nice, and I'm going to use it till there's none left. So this one, I've been hesitating to throw away because it is like really glamorous packaging and everything in it sounds so good. Vitamin C. It has turmeric in it, like wild rose. It just, it's so glamorous sounding and everything in it sounds like it should work so well. It's not that it doesn't work well. Like I have used this a few times and I don't think it's really broken me out, but I also haven't really seen too much of a difference after using it. And the big kicker with this is that it smells like straight up perfume. Like this smells like a bottle of perfume. This seems like something you would put behind your ears before a date. Like it's very luxurious smelling, but it's so strong that I feel like I can't sleep. Like even if I put this on like two hours before I go to bed, I still smell it on my face. And it's like a really, really strong, rosy, perfumey smell. And it just kind of drives me nuts. So. I think I'm gonna have to part ways with this. I don't think it's worth it. I don't see enough of a difference and it just, it stinks. Oh, I made a category for hand creams. I'm keeping all of them. I only got a couple, leave me alone. All right, so now that I have decluttered and gotten rid of the items that don't serve me anymore, I am ready to reorganize my medicine cabinet and get everything back in there. Yes, there are already things in there. The top shelf has been reserved strictly for medicine and first aid, but I didn't think that would be interesting to show. So we're jumping right back into skincare. Long introduction over. Let's do it. So the organizing is complete, so let's see what's inside my medicine cabinet. Starting with the first door here. So I actually had a little more space than I expected to, so I was able to separate my masks into two different shelves. So on the top here you have all of my sheet masks, which are all on the clarifying side. And then on the bottom shelf I have my more hydrating masks. Top shelf, boyfriend things, let him, let him have that area there. And then in the middle is where all my everydays are. Shout out to my everyday skincare products. But I have my micellar water, and then I have my matcha hemp cleanser, my wild oat hydrating toner, my physical exfoliant. And then on the bottom here, you have my sunscreens, my Crave Beauty one. Hiding back here is my Perlis one, which I still need to try. Then I have my First Day Beauty Tinted Moisturizer, my concealer slash de-puffer, and my hydrating primer. I got my little makeup -y section right here and then right here I have my facial radiance pads and then I have my daily moisturizer my ultra repair barrier cream I have all my facial oils and body oils down here and then I also have my eye cream um, and then in the middle shelf this had to be here just because it's so big it only fits on the second shelf then I have my hand creams here in their little area and then of course up there is the medicine you want to know what I'm taking vitamin D baby I think it looks much better I am so satisfied looking at this knowing that things aren't going to fall out when I open the doors if you like organization videos then please <laughs> tell me and I'll make more of them but I hope you enjoyed today's video I hope it was satisfying for you to see some organization happening. It was very satisfying for me. Definitely feeling good on this side of the camera. I hope you're feeling good too. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more organization videos, more makeup videos, more skincare videos. I was bluffing. Of course I'll do more skincare videos. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.